Adriana, I never knew I could love somebody so much as I love you. You stole me away the first time I saw you, and I have been captivated ever since. The last eight years have been the best years of my life. I've been blessed by being able to wake up by your side and I've cherished every moment. From the first day I saw you, I knew you were remarkably special. I was head over heels before I even said a word to you. The feeling I felt on that day is unlike I had ever felt before. Your elegant beauty and mesmerizing smile had me hooked and I knew you were the one for me. Fast forward to today and I still get the same feels every time you smile. I'm the luckiest man to get to spend today, tomorrow, and forever with you by my side. See you at the altar. Keep smiling, your soon to be husband. Mark, the day I've always thought of as a little girl is finally here, and I couldn't be more proud of the man I am going to marry. Growing up, I always thought of the qualities I would one day wish for in a husband, and I feel so lucky to have someone that has those very same qualities and more. While it was a slower journey, I couldn't be more thankful for all that we have learned from one another and how much we have grown over the last eight years. I am so proud of us and who we want to be together. You are someone I want to celebrate life with, but more importantly, the one I want to walk through the lows of life with too. Thank you for being you. See you soon, my future husband. I love you always. As I've gotten older, I've realized even more how life is all about who you get to share it with. I've been one of the luckiest girls around to have shared the past 12 plus years with Adriana and the past eight with my beloved Marcus. I can't imagine two people more perfect for one another who continue to bring out the best in each other. From blue duct tape dresses to you main hockey teams to roommates and dog parents, you guys share a love that your future kids, grandkids, etc. are going to brag about. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life and to be up here today in front of everyone who loves you, getting to gush about two of the most selfless and kind people around. I can't wait to grow old with you too. Adriana, uh, just speaking to you, you're not a metaphorical puck out of the corner, um, per se, but uh, you're a prize, you're a catch. Um, Mark, she's something to covet and to keep, so hold that tight um, forever. Um, it's about eight years. Uh, she'll be the first and only girl you bring home, um, and I think that's, that's really, really, really special, and that's, that's honest there, so. Mark and Adriana, you've been making informal commitments since a first glance eight years ago. Before this, you have meant many things to one another. Acquaintances, friends, companions, partners, and teachers, as you have learned so much from one another. You have always chosen to move, move forward in your relationship, even if it was from thousands of miles away. During these times, you had ideas about someday, and that someday today. These are the hands that will wipe tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold your children and help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength as you need it. These are the hands that, when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours. May these hands continue to build a loving relationship that lasts a lifetime. May God bless these hands and hold you in His forever. Mark and Adriana, you have just committed yourselves one to another by the pledge of your marriage vows and the exchange of wedding rings. Your life is now one. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mark, you may kiss your bride. 